Hello everybody, welcome back to No Man's Land, where the goal is $10 million, or FS25, whichever comes first. Now, we are never going to make it to $10 million unless we straighten out this whole egg situation. Uh, I'm having trouble, if you haven't been watching, I'm having trouble with uh, egg distribution. It's sending all of the eggs over to, oh, where is it sending them? It's sending them here to the donut factory. And it's not sending any of them here to the uh, all, uh, to the mayonnaise factory. It will send them to the mayonnaise factory if we fill up the uh, donut factory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy uh, about probably $100,000 worth of eggs. <laughs> now, I know that seems kind of silly. But I think in the long run, it's going to help us out because it, what it's going to do is we can fill up the uh, the donut factory with eggs and then we can put some more eggs over in the mayonnaise factory. And then when the chickens produce, it will send eggs to whichever one needs them the most. It's probably going to be the mayonnaise factory because it holds 100,000 liters of eggs while the donut factory only holds 15,000. So... The goal is to kind of keep this topped off so that it ends up sending the rest of the eggs over here. I am hoping that at some point our egg production will be such that uh, it, we won't have to worry about it anymore. It'll be producing so many eggs that it'll just send, it'll keep them both full. But, uh, you know, who knows? So, uh, I'm going to... Uh, buy some eggs and have them delivered here but i'm gonna buy a whole bunch of them so that's gonna take a while i'll bring you guys back when i'm done buying eggs so i wanted to show you guys this this is a mod called all viable productions palette pack which uh anything uh in any of the base game productions all of the things that the base game productions produce can be bought on a pallet so if we need butter we can buy a pallet full of butter. Now, clearly, it's not cheap to buy these things. I believe that it is the uh, yearly high price for whatever product it is. So right now, we're looking at $9,400. That's actually probably more than you could sell a pallet of eggs for in the best month. Um, but we are going to buy 20, It says 2,800 pieces. I, I don't know if that's 2,800 liters or I don't know, but, uh, I am going to buy, yeah, probably about 10 of these pallets and we'll see how far that goes. So I'm going to buy pallets. I'll get back to you. All right. So we got 10 pallets here. We paid $94,000 for 10 pallets of eggs, which, you know, Fiscally, it's probably not the best choice, but uh, just to keep the game moving and to ultimately reach our goal a little faster, I, I think it's worth the money. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick uh, eggs in this production um, until it's full, which still says 2,800 pieces. Yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's treating each piece as a leader, it looks like. So I should have, uh, uh, I don't know, a little over 10,000 liters in here when we're done with this pallet. Oh, maybe 11,000. Okay, so these may go a little further than I thought. Uh, we'll keep sticking eggs in here. I think two more might do it. We'll see. And we're trying to get to 15,000 liters. Yeah, I think this, uh, I think these are going to do it. Actually, yeah, there we go. So we'll just leave those there and they can continue to, to do their eggy thing. And um, unless it's going to keep giving me that message and then uh, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way to turn those off. I mean, if it stops taking them, then it's pretty clear that there's no more spare capacity for eggs. 
But at any rate, the eggs will be gone soon, and it won't give me that message anymore. All right, so we're making mayonnaise again. Hallelujah. Very good, very good, because that's our big money maker. Although donuts do pretty well, too. I'm going to pull these out, because apparently only the donuts are giving me that. There we go. Oh, I might as well stick them over here. Because I have the priority set such that uh, the donut factory will always get eggs when it needs them. So it'll pretty much stay topped off the whole time, which is my goal. So it just sends a few over here, tops it off to 15,000, and then sends the rest over here. Which we're never going to fill up because it's 100,000 liters of eggs. But uh, hopefully that will keep it even and we will continue to make mayonnaise and donuts and money. Well, I left the harvester on the other side of this field and it still has 27,000 liters of canolas, uh, uh, canola in it. So we're going to go ahead and dump that in the mill. If the truck's not in the way. The truck's not in the way, but it looks like the tractor kind of is. Let's see if I can kind of sneak this over the tractor. Eh, well, I'll just put it in the trailer. That'll work. Yeah, I'm going to spend a little time tidying up the yard. I'll get right back to you. Well, everything's starting to get pretty dirty. So I think what I'm going to do is buy one of these. And this is a really cool mod. Uh, let's see. I think it's in miscellaneous. There she is. Miscellaneous. Okay. Yeah, I think it's here somewhere. Ah, the portable jet wash. It's only $75. And the cool thing is, is that it acts like a chainsaw. And so you can just wash wherever you are. And you don't get that annoying problem where you get too far away from the, the pressure washer and then you lose connection. This one just stays with you. So you could even have water fights with your friends. Right, so all of our tractors are now nice and shiny. We'll give this guy a wash unless we get a lot of lag. And then we won't. Oh, there's the lag. I'm going to try something. I'm going to exit out of the game. I'm going to turn off pallet auto load specialization and see if that makes any difference. All right, so I turned off pallet auto load specialization, which required me to turn off about six other mods that use pallet auto load specialization. So there's a feature I would like to see in 25. If you turn off a, a dependent for another mod, just give me the ability to turn off all of those other mods in one click. Don't make me go to each one of those individual mods and deselect them. Also, here's a cool feature that I'd like to see. If there are required mods for a map, either just download those mods automatically, tell me you're downloading them and then actually download them. Or when you take me out of the, the, the map screen to go back to download mods, then just take me back to where I was before. Don't make me start that selection process all over again. So there's a mini rant 
and some suggestions for giants. Now let's see if our lag went away after all that. Well, look at that. It sure did. Yay, no more lag. All right, so let's move this truck. So it's not right in the big middle of everything. You just move it right over here. That's enough out of the way. Now, the next thing we need to do is um, spray for weeds. Actually, let me, let's move the harvester. <laughs> we moved the truck out of the way and left the harvester there. Can I squeeze? Yes, I can. We will need this in December. But I should probably give it a quick wash anyway. Doesn't hurt to keep everything nice and clean. And that will satisfy some of my more OCD viewers who really like it when you clean your tractors. <laughs> And clean the header off. That's got to be the dirtiest part, right? I don't know why I moved this thing around. It doesn't really matter, but I guess for the roleplay aspect of it. now the harvester is nice and clean so I'm gonna grab the Massey Ferguson and the sprayer and I will meet you guys at the canola field I think if we ever see one in the sale we're gonna go with the self-propelled sprayer those are a lot more fun <laughs> all right let's get it done Right, that's the last little bit oh uh, now I think I may have gotten myself wedged in here oh I got it I got it this thing is very long it's very very long well it's really kind of a deadly combination it's got a very narrow wheelbase and it's pretty close to the tractor and then it's got this long reach and um it just it's very very easy to overcorrect. so as soon as we see a decent price on a on a self-propelled we'll go with that it's just a little easier to deal with
Yeah, see how it, it just reacts so quickly. And when it's extended, it's just it it, it goes so far away from where you want to be so quickly. <laughs> All right. The next thing we need to do is to plant that field over there. All right, we're bringing out the big guns now. It's really dirty, but I think we're going to wait until... There, there's no reason to wash this thing right before we use it. And I think in this field, we're going to go and plant some oats so that we can make some flour. We've got a big canola field growing. Um, we're going to need some flour for donuts, so might as well plant some oats. So you guys hear me talk about what I would like to see in FS25 all the time. What would you guys like to see? Post some comments. Let's have a discussion. What I would ask you to do, though, is to refrain from um, complaining <laughs> about uh, missing features from FS25. None of us knows what all the features of FS25 are going to be. So I think it's a little disingenuous to complain about missing features that you don't know are missing yet. So let's confine the conversation to things that we would like to see or maybe excitement about things that we know we're going to see. You know, they said better AI. That's cool. Um, what I'm hoping for for better AI is, uh, number one, a little more reliable. I would like to be able to not constantly worry about my uh, worker driving the full combine into the river. I think that would be a very welcome thing. <laughs> but what I'm really hoping for is that they have kind of simplified the course play system a little bit and we get a little more of that but as i've said numerous times course play just i can't you know i'm a reasonably intelligent person i think and i i can't get it and maybe, maybe I don't want to get it bad enough. <laughs> There's always that possibility. Um, but I just, I can't devote myself. I can't bring myself to devote the time to it that it would take to use it efficiently. Or maybe that's just a limitation I'm putting on, on myself and that that's not the reality of horseplay. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm going to try to start this with a little bit. I'll leave a little strip there on the left. But I think we'll get most of the rest of it with a worker if we do this. Let me get it lined up at zero. And further back. Okay. Yeah, we'll have a little bit left over here on the left, but that's cool. It should get the rest of it. And at 23 miles an hour, it should do it pretty quickly.
We've got a few things we need to clean up here. And we've got this one last little bit to do, but it won't take very long. You seating? Yes, we are seating. Well, let's make sure. <laughs> Yes, we are seating. I always have to make sure that I've turned the seater on. Uh, I have a mod that applies a rolled texture when you're using a seater. And um, it will apply that texture even if the seater is not on. So, got to be careful sometimes. You can't just tell by the texture. Although I think you would be able to tell by uh, the color of the texture, it would not be the same color if it wasn't applying fertilizer. But without our unrealistic mods, I don't think there's a chance that we make it to 10 million before FS25 comes out. our cedar is still bouncing around a little bit i also think that sometimes if it's going too fast it doesn't uh seed as well as it should uh this is seeded it's just doesn't have the rolled texture we'll take a look at the map again to make sure that the entire field is in fact seeded in oats um, we'll probably miss some more there because I don't think I've smoothed it out enough, but we'll see. We don't lose that much from the humps anyway, so not going to worry too much about it. All right, that ought to do it. Let's take a look at the map again. Yes, we are completely seated in oats except for one little tiny spot right there. And I am OCD enough to go back for it. <laughs> Where is it? It's right there. Near Tree Island 2. Oops. I need to turn the cedar on. Okay. So now we don't have that ugly color on our map anymore. It should all be oat colored. Yes, yes it is. All right, I'm going to wash up the planter. And uh, then we are going to fast forward time and uh, sell some goods. So before we speed up time, I want to go ahead and fill up as much of this as we can. I don't know if it's got 80,000 liters in it right now or not. Let's see, how much methane do we have? No, we don't. But whatever we put in here, 12,783 liters um, or kilograms, I get confused. Anyway, whatever we put in here now, we leave room for production when we speed up time. Um, and so we're going to go, I don't know, 
No ways. We'll go as far as we can before it turns dark. Well, I may have gone a little too far. <laughs> but we only have just a few pallets of eggs and mayonnaise. We just haven't been producing because of the lack of eggs. But we did double up our methane, so that's good. And now we'll drive to town in the dark. Oh, this thing does not have very good headlights, does it? Slow and steady wins the race. Donuts is accepted here. You stop it. All right, donuts and mayonnaise got us $83,840, and that's with just, you know, limited production. Methane? Probably also going to be pretty good. Alright, 47,000. So we made about 120. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the next day. Because I don't want to drive home in the dark. That's better. Probably should have just overnighted anyway. And we did make a little money overnight from flowers and mushrooms. And we probably have more pallets of donuts and mayonnaise, but we're going to go ahead and save those for December sale. But that will be in our next episode, because I think that's all the time we have today. If you like this video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up or a subscription. If you did not like this video, please post a comment and tell me why. Either way, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next time.